How's your life going? Are you feeling blocked? Do you have any patterns where you try and it fails? You try and you quit. You try, 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 and you keep uh, running the same track record. That's because of cognitive dissonance. Another word for cognitive dissonance in the common language is self-sabotage. The root cause of self-sabotage, the root cause, will be cognitive dissonance. And then there are other things like uh, karma, karma, karmic patterns, things like that. But the root cause of self-sabotage is cognitive dissonance. Now I've spoken time and time and time again about cognitive dissonance and what it is and why it's so powerful. Why does it win? It's because it has a minimum ratio one million to one. The cognitive dissonance is in the subconscious. The subconscious has the power of one million minimum. New data coming in now is saying uh, much stronger than that, at least two, millions, two million times stronger. And the conscious brain where you form your ideas of what you want to do and how you want to do it, it only has the power of one. So cognitive dissonance will always win if it's there. The beautiful thing about cognitive dissonance is that it can be disassembled and removed as long as you find it and if you have the technology that will actually do that. That's what depth healing is made to do and it does it uh, very, very well. Another thing I want to explain though about cognitive dissonance, your life, and uh, the way things unfold is this. Think of your life like um, a big deck of cards or books, big stack. So you may have been working on yourself for years and let's say uh, you cleared very effectively your shyness with intimacy and you, you really cleared it. You, the dissonance there is gone, at least it seems so. And then one day you happen to run into somebody, you meet somebody and all of a sudden you're very shy regarding intimacy again. Now, how does that happen? It's because in the first book, let's say the first book of the stack, you cleared cognitive dissonance relative to intimacy with everything known in that book. So that book represents a, a set of files in your subconscious database. But then when you meet uh, Mr. or Mrs. So-and-so, because of the way they look or because of the way they talk or something, it triggers cognitive dissonance regarding intimacy from another angle, another aspect and it's triggered because of them. And then all of a sudden, you have uh, intimacy issues again. It's simply that the way life is, is like that stack of books, and each book is like a chapter, uh, an age range, a career or career choice, uh, whatever, whatever area. And then as you're living your life, you might start reading this other book or you move to a new geophysical area and that opens another book. And then the files with that book are open. And as they open, new cognitive dissonance comes into play. It's the same thing for me new cognitive dissonance comes into play 
because I am engaging with my life. That's one of the reasons we're alive and why we came here. Because you engage with your life and that activates files, programming, perceptions, all of that. It activates all of that. And then we get to live it, clear it, or maybe suffer with it. It depends on what it is. So you will, unless you become a fully high level enlightened person, you will always have cognitive dissonance, either active or latent. Let me say that again, unless you are fully enlightened someday, you will always have cognitive dissonance, either active or latent, waiting. And you may or may not ever activate the cognitive dissonance that's waiting because you may never activate that file or meet that person or move to what the trigger never occurs. And if the trigger never occurs, then the cognitive dissonance doesn't open. So all you can do now is you can do two things. One is examine your life now. Is there any kind of a frustration or block or hindrance? Then you look at it and you say to yourself, is this a pattern? Have I had this kind of problem before? Like I, I want to start working out and I always quit. Three, four months, three, four weeks I quit. I always start this, I never finish. You ever said that to you? So I never finish. Those are patterns. Those patterns will point to cognitive dissonance. So you, you look at your life now, then you play it backwards. You look for patterns. And that's how you find it. The more you make that aware, then you come to the collective for self-sabotage and it'll be gone. We'll take it out, disassemble it and remove it. Just understand that when we disassemble and remove it, it is removed, but all the other latent cognitive distance is there. And it's going to be there as long as you're alive. You clear, 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 clear. Now see, uh, there, are, there are categories. I do not have lack consciousness now. I don't have it. That cognitive distance, that was all removed for me. But I can feel financial stress. That's different but I used to have cognitive dissonance that kept me poor and unsuccessful. That's all gone. I am not poor and I'm certainly not unsuccessful. Uh, I'm very successful, but that's because the cognitive dissonance was removed. I had 30 years of poverty, frustration and failure. And I would start and it'd fail, start, fail. And then, and then it was gone, it's, it's been removed. So though there are, there are categories like that. So I want you to understand that. And then I want you to go to that collective because the collectives are, are, we're, I mean, we're making history with those collectives. We really are. And this guy is, is a major, major for you to end the year with. Then the next one this month, November, is wealth. And then we finish off with parents, which is the kingpin. Perfect way to end 2024. And tell all your friends about the, the collectives too. And when you attend collectives or any anything with me, uh, make a comment, send in testimonials, and uh, there's a there's a term I'm I'm searching for. 
where you rate it. All of that helps us so that we make depth healing known. People need depth healing. That's why I'm alive. That's why this is all created. This is, this is, depth healing is not a uh, simplistic system that's meant to be just privy to a few. It's for the world. It's designed for the world and it can serve the world, but they got to know about it. And that's where you come in. Okay? And remember the full moon Seba. We're coming up on the end of 2024, and every day that goes by, Kali Yuga comes closer to ending. And so much is going on in the world, and it needs all of us. The world needs all of us. Our intentions, our <laughs> passerby, our intentions, every, everything. It's every day is important, every action is important. You matter. You certainly matter to me and you matter to the world and to the universe, to everything. The more dissonance and, and self, uh, uh, pardon me, the more subconscious uh, chatter, interference, negative programming, negative beliefs and imprints, the more they are removed from you, the more your consciousness elevates. The more your consciousness elevates, the greater the world becomes. That's the truth. The greater the world becomes. It'll start to become great first within you, then your immediate family or loved ones. And then from there, it expands outward. Okay, so that is uh, on self-sabotage. You will, if you, if you have uh, cognitive dissonance, you will sabotage. You will sabotage. It's guaranteed. If you do not have cognitive dissonance, you may struggle, but you'll succeed. Nothing wrong with struggle. You'll still succeed. If you have cognitive dissonance, you will not succeed because it has all the power and your conscious brain and education does not have the power. Now that's just simple uh, agreed upon brain neurology, you know, the neuroscience agrees on that. That's, that's just simple fact. No need to resist it or argue with it or all, all, not, nothing like that. Just get yourself into the collective get in there and get the work done. And, and you know, the nice thing about me and depth healing is all you got to do is show up. I take care of the rest for you. It's a pretty good deal. Okay, I'm going to let this go. It's got to upload for Johnny. I hope to see you very, very soon. Now remember, collectives are big sheets or layers. My privates are drills. There, that's a drill that uh, is very highly specific to you, specifically to you. And the collectives are layers that each and every person in the collective is contributing all of their subconscious data to the pot. The pot is called a morphic field and I work in the pot, and you receive the benefit. Okie dokie, thank you so much, bye for now.